Your girl is engaged. Your girl is getting married. Um, so stay tuned for the rest of the video so you can hear the story and how it happened and when it happened and da 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 da. da. Okay, so I might be a, like I'm gonna try to be more in frame while I do my yeah. Okay, so. It was Father's Day, Febu February, oh my God. So I got engaged officially on June 18th, which was Father's Day, which was about a week and some change ago. And it was, it, I don't know, cause he like, okay. So Brian asked if I was expecting it and I won't say that I was. Like he was like, was it obvious? I mean to say, and I was like, kind of not really because like, I don't know, like it just seemed like not a type of day to do it. Like who thinks about getting engaged on Father's Day? And so I knew we were supposed to go to lunch because he was like, hey, let's go on a date. It was actually supposed to be the day before. Um we were supposed to go on a lunch date and we ended up not going because I had a bad day at work and my back was really really hurting and he was just like it's okay we can just go tomorrow which was Father's Day so I was like okay cool slay so pick moving on to Father's Day so the night before we had just had a big party with all of our friends for Bron's birthday um it was really really fun it was a good bit of us and we had so much fun but that being said like we didn't go to bed until like mm, 1 2 a.m party ended at midnight because brian had to go to work the next day so we weren't trying to like push it but needless to say we went to bed a little bit late right that's the point i'm trying to make so the next morning, Brian got up and went to work. I stayed home because I was off in the bed. I literally was in the bed that whole day, pretty much. Um, my sister-in-law was here because she came to the party. She wanted to be there and celebrate with us. So she was here because she was celebrating the party. So cool. So that was why I wasn't really concerned about her being there or like her presence because she was at the proposal um i wasn't really concerned with her being there i was like oh, okay she wants to come to the party cool and then she spent the night um because like i said party ended at midnight and her mom came to pick her up the next day so brian went to work i stayed home brian calls me and he was like hey i'm coming home i have like a really bad headache and like i just can't do it like i just cannot be at work right now and i was like okay baby I'll see you when you get here, that's cool. And he came home and literally we ended up taking a nap together. And so again, like this is all just like a normal little day. Like this isn't anything that's out of the ordinary or anything like that. Like he came home and took a nap. So I was just very unsuspicious. And so we chilled pretty much the whole day. And then it was about time for me to start getting ready for our lunch date. And he asked me if I was going to, um, he asked me if I was going to dress nice. Like he was like, how are you dressing? And I was like, I don't know, like we're just going to lunch, right? Like it's nothing serious, right? And he was like, yeah, no, no, we're just going to lunch. Yeah, cool. So I was like, okay, so I guess like I have a skirt and a crop top picked out. Like, is that cool? And he was like, um, yeah, that should be fine. Whatever you want, da 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 da. And so then he got dressed, and when he got dressed, he looked not like overly nice, like because I will include pictures at the end of this and hopefully a video if I can get a better quality video because the one that I have is not the best quality and we're trying to get it uploaded onto a computer. We just haven't done it yet so I can get a better quality video. So hopefully I get that and I can just include the video at the end of all this um, explaining. Around, what time did we go to lunch? Like two, 
something like that, like 1 32, something like that. So 12 o'clock starts to roll around and I'm like, okay, let me get dressed. And like I said, he had got dressed and he looked, he looked pretty good. And so I was like, okay, let me step in my outfit a little bit. Let me just put on a dress. Cause if you put on like a dress or like a jumpsuit, you automatically look just a little bit more put together. Cause it's just one cohesive outfit. Whereas like when you try to put pieces together like a top and a bottom, sometimes it can fall flat. So I was like, mm, let's not, let's not fall flat. Like let's look nice because he looks nice. So I decided to put on, oh my goodness. I decided to put on a dress just for like shits and giggles or whatever. So that I looked put together. And so he comes in and he was like, oh, you, that's what you're wearing? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, that's nice. He was like, are you going to do your makeup or whatever? Because, you know, you might want to start doing that if you are. And I was like, am I going to do makeup? I don't really think I want to do makeup. Like, I think I just, I think I'm chilling. Like, y'all have probably been noticing, like, if you see my Instagram or, like, on here. Like, I've been recording a lot just, like, playing Jane's face because, like, I really went on a healing journey and learn how to love myself and like I just don't care to wear makeup every single time I go out and everything like it has to be an occasion like I have to want to do it I'm just do it just to do it anymore um but since he had said something about it and then he was like you know and then you might want to take pictures so you know maybe you should be in makeup and I was like mm -hmm, you're right I do like taking a good picture so I was like okay put some makeup da 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 but I did like a real simple light bee face like I didn't even have a foundation just like you know a little concealer a little blush a little eyeshadow no lashes some mascara you know just like a natural fresh face but you just again you just a little bit more put together so after that like right around the time I finished getting dressed his mom got here to pick up my sister-in-law oh also here's a sneak peek detail at some random point while I was getting ready there was a moment where I heard somebody run in the house and it sounded like they ran back out but I didn't question it because I just assumed it was Brian being dumb or maybe it was my cat I don't know so I just didn't question it found out later that was my best friend coming in to get something to go and set up the proposal but anyway so my mother-in-law came to get my sister-in-law and I did slightly question why my mother-in-law looked as nice as she did. Like, ooh. like she was she was just kind of dressed up and I was just like, oh, okay, but you know, I didn't know what plan she had after she um brought my came to get my sister-in-law. Like they could have been going somewhere. I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, mm cool whatever she's dressed nice i'm putting on lotion guys cool whatever she's dressed nice fine dandy cool and so we ended up leaving we all went up at the same time and the car ride is where i kind of figured it out but even if you do figure it out i feel like it's not that big of a deal it like wasn't obvious to me until two little things that he did where i was like hmm he started driving really, really slow. Like, Bron was going the speed limit. And if y'all don't know, Bron has a Dodge Charger that is modified with a crazy engine that goes super fast. And, like, he doesn't drive reckless, but, like, he definitely don't be driving the speed limit all the time either. And so... So, him driving the speed limit for me was just a little bit like, hmm, what why are we going to speed limit like why are we taking our time getting here and then i had a scarf on my head like i do right now because my braids are getting a little old y'all but you know you need them to just stay in your head for like another two weeks or so so i had my scarf on you keep the scarf on till you get where you need to go so your hair stays fresh that's what you do and so um like i'm doing now i mean this is gonna stay on until we get ready to go well i mean until we get to where we're going I might need to take the claw clip out because you're not supposed to ride in the car with a claw clip in your hair. Anyway, distraction, sorry, ADHD. Um, so he's driving slow and I have my scarf on and he asks me, can you pull this over your eyes? And so I was like, okay, so of course, once your man blindfolds you, you know, you're gonna know he's surprising you. And he said, I have a little bit of a surprise for you before we go on our date. And so I was just like, okay, you know, and I'm thinking about what it could be. And I'm like, it could be, but I don't wanna get my hopes up because it could not be. And I don't wanna say it is and it's not. And of course it was, um, he blindfolded me until we walked out into this 
beautiful sunflowers and he guided me on to this white like sheet that was covered in sunflowers and rose petals and he had me turn around and face the sunflower so that was the first thing I saw when I took the blindfold off I turned around and he was holding a ring and he was also holding our son if you guys don't know um, I did have a baby that passed away um, there's a whole like video dedicated to it on my channel and we did get Alex cremated rather than bury him because I wanted to be able to keep him in a way and so he had his little urn with him in one hand and then the ring in the other and like I wanted to cry and then I couldn't really see at first to be honest and so then I saw his family behind us and my family behind us and I was like oh my god and it was just such a beautiful moment I got the ring of my dreams this may not be like what somebody some of y'all might like or y'all might think that it's not pretty enough for anything but like for me like I love it like I told him I did not want this big elaborate ring like that's just not me that's not my personality I love crystals if y'all know like I'm very into wellness and spirituality and stuff like that and so I definitely knew I wanted like some type of gem in my ring and he got me a sapphire a blue sapphire so you know it was so beautiful like I said I hopefully if I can get that video for you guys I'm gonna insert it right here if not I'm so sorry you guys will see pictures instead and you cannot see that This one better. Yes, mm -hmm. Shit, that go right on my little fat ass fingers. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it reminds me of my. Oh, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was just such a beautiful day, guys. And then after that, we went out to eat. We went to get some sushi, and it was amazing. And I had the best day ever. And I've been floating on cloud nine literally ever since. Like I just. I don't know, like I just been, my face hurts because I've been smiling so much. Everybody's saying congratulations and you're saying thank you. And it was just such an amazing experience. And I just love my man so much. And I cannot wait for y'all to get all of this good, good wedding content because there is more information to come that you guys will not get just yet. But I hope you're ready for the wedding content. I hope y'all are prepared to be sick of me with my new ring. And... That's the end of this video, guys. That's all I have to say. I'm getting married to the love of my life. I've been with Ron for five years now. We started dating our senior year. We just barely made high school sweethearts. Um, and yeah, it's just, it goes to show you love is possible and I'm really happy. So this is the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below videos that you want to see for the wedding series. Whatever you guys want to see, y'all can see. I promise. Comment it down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you like me, if you're feeling my vibe, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notifications to your device when I upload. Or just come back every Monday at 3 o'clock because your girl has been being consistent. <laughs> And without further ado, I love you guys so much. Stay awesome. Bye, guys.